Welcome back. Excuse my voice. It's going a little bit. It's probably all the excitement of the weekend. Today we have a bit of show footage for you. Not a lot because I spent a lot of time actually getting to know some of the subscribers and meeting up with the YouTubers. Uh, but with the subscribers it was really really awesome. I've not had so many people come up to me before and stop for a chat and really get to know people properly. Massive shout out to Nigel and my little Welsh crew that we had there. That was brilliant, stopping with you for ages and, and seeing your daughter get her first tractor. That was fab as well. So here's some show footage and then I'm going to show you my pickups after. Here's what I've got. Where do I start? Some of the not so interesting bits. I've got a little bag here and inside I've got some little pieces of cork bark. These are for something that I want to try at home. Uh, it'll be in a video coming up. Some like wood chippings. Quite fine wood chippings. That's for some of my millipedes and stuff. So I've got a box of that. That was dirt cheap. I got myself a bag of moss. I think it was a quid and then I won on the raffle and there was only two prizes left so I picked another bag of moss I got some feeder stuff as well got some mealworms they were going quite cheap at the end of the day thought I'd stock up on a few things a shed ton of red runners uh, I can add to the other ones at home one of them got loose in my car so I've got a pet red runner 
in the boot of my car now, which is fantastic. A little fruit fly colony there for one of my pickups. I'll show you in a bit. I got a bean weevil culture. That's pretty cool. Um, I do find bean weevils quite easy to feed some of my slings and stuff. And to, from most of the other shows that we've been to, I haven't found any there. So that was awesome find today. I'm happy I got those. I got absolutely tons of these uh, little sling boxes. They're two different sizes. They're the ones with the little with a little feeder hatch on the front. Uh, we just got loads of these because I think it was like buy so many for a certain price. So we thought we'd take advantage of that. And I've got some rehouses to do of some of my slings because these tubs will definitely be better than the ones I've already got them in. I got this big enclosure and this is for one of the animals I picked up as well so you have to wait and see in a minute. I got this cool little glass custom aquaria enclosure and that's for something I already have at home but I got extra of those today which you'll see in a minute as well and I thought um, the, the enclosure it's already the one I have is already in um, I didn't think putting extra ones in there would be enough space for them and so I got this one for those. I got another glass enclosure this was really good it's a nice 15 by 15 by 15 cube one it was only a tenner and that is also for something I wanted to rehouse I already have at home I'll probably be in a separate video by itself but I'm excited for that because the enclosure that it's already in I can't see in there as much to enjoy it so I thought I'd get a nice big glass one so I'll be able to have a good old look a lot easier as always because it's now the law for us to get them we have a £50 mystery box from Portsmouth Tarantulas and that will be on my next video me and Sam opened this last night as soon as we got home like we do very excited, we love doing these. So there's that one to look forward to as well. And I nearly forgot, we got this absolute beast of a block of cocoa fibre that we are yet to soak. So we'd best get doing that in a minute. It's heavy! I think that's all the extra odds and ends, so let's have a look at the animals now. I got a birthday present. This is another Egyptian predatory beetle to go with the ones I already have at home. This is from Greg and Rachel from Eight Legs Four Wheels and I'm really excited about this. And they've all got, because they've all got names now that are Sesame Street themed. I have Bert, Ernie, Elmo and Oscar the Grouch. While I was there with them I decided this was now going to be called Big Bird. So we've got a full tank now of Sesame Street named Egyptian predatory beetles. Very good fun. I love these anyway. I'm very, very glad they got me another one. <laughs> the more the better. They made me very happy. Thank you very much, Greg and Rachel. So these are Thai pink dragon millipedes. I bought one at the last show. I got two more this time. They're really cute. I really do like them. And that was for the little glass enclosure, the tiny one I got. I'm going to pop them all in there together so I've got a nice little three going on. I really do like them. Now in here I have a tarantula. It's a Nandu Chromatus and I got this one from Dan and Chelsea from Sticker Mix. We had an awesome good time with them at the show. Uh, thanks to you two. Chelsea always saves the day and keeps me warm because I'm always freezing when I'm there. She lent me her scarf to wear for the evening. And thank you to Dan as well for the spider. Very kind, thank you. Then in here I have a P. Regis Florida jumping spider. It came in this little setup already. It's got a little plant in there, some fruit flies already in, and it the lady says she's 90% sure it's a female, but can't take her word for it 100%. It's quite tiny, it's right at the top here at the minute, but I'll show you that one a bit better later. And um, she gave me some nice, a nice care sheet and some of her information and stuff so I could get a hold of her from spoodiness.com. And um, after my last one passed away, I wanted another one. So I picked up a baby one to grow up today and hopefully we'll have better luck with this one. And then last of all, I got for a bargain £15 in a rather large tub, I have 
a mature male, Brachypelma vagus. I don't think he's Brachypelma anymore. No, he's not. It's a little Tacato vagus. But he's a mature male. And even though we don't see my female one very often, she is a fully grown adult. And I'm hoping to do uh, a little bit of a breeding project with him. So, yeah, because he was a mature male, whopping bargain, 15 quid. And he's very bloody nice. Next video will be the unboxing of our mystery box and then I've got quite a bit of rehousing to do obviously some of the ones that I have here today and some of the animals already at home that I've bought new enclosures for so look forward to that and I'll see you next time. Bye!